Hello everyone, welcome to what would have been again, uh, ASL week 8 I think it was. Uh, again, our opponent just didn't show up, so uh, we got a forfeit win, which I mean we take those, but uh, that means, hey, we're doing another tier list. Uh, this time around we're doing a Koki Run tier list, uh, aka representing all the characters I use for the team analysis, presentations, etc, etc. Um, so I'll be doing mostly epic pluses, uh, some like special cookies like Snapdragon or Icicle Yeti will also be here. But mostly I feel really indifferent about all these, like Blackberry is probably the only rare or ep uh, common that I really care about. Every other common or rare is like... So I'll probably just leave them out for this tier list, because we've got a lot to get through anyway. Um, yeah, uh, let's get started. So first up we've got Almond Cookie. Uh, this is the one Twitter is the most craziest about. Uh, I don't care too much about Almond, like he's all right. I hated when he was actually usable in the meta. Like this, I liked them a lot as a cookie that was used. But his design, this is design based or character based. So, you know, I, I don't have too much like negativity against Almond anymore. So I, I'll, I'll put him in A tier, I guess. Uh, a for Almond, you know, makes sense. Uh, yeah. Next up, we've got Chili Pepper. Uh, Chili Pepper is. I, I don't really like this character. I, C for Chili Pepper. Uh, just not not a fan of yeah just just not a fan uh cream puff uh cream puff is i, I like cream puff a lot I'll, I'll say that right now probably ss tier funny enough when i started playing this game i think it took me like five or six months of playing to finally get cream puff like i got every ancient and legendary that was out at the time uh i don't think super epics were out when i started playing but um yeah, she, she took a while to show up, and now she's one of the few cookies that I have in 5 Star Ascension, so how the turn have tables. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Dark Choco. Uh, Dark Choco's cool. I, I think I definitely like him more than Almond and Chili Pepper. Uh, I don't know if he's S tier quite. I'll put him above Almond and A, but I might move him up to S tier. Uh, next up, we've got Black Raisin. Black Raisin is definitely going in S tier. Maybe even SS tier, but for now I'll leave her in S tier. Uh, really good design, a, a, a big fan of crows, so you know, getting like little crow representation is just cool. Um, next up, we've got uh, Espresso. I, I like Espresso. Uh, I think the um, Cookie Odyssey definitely added to, his, added to his character a lot, so I definitely like him a lot more now. Uh, I'd say top of A for now. Uh, yeah, just solid character. I like him. I, I like him. Uh, next up, we've got one of my goats of this game, uh, Fig. This will surprise some of you Cook Your Own players, but uh, SS tier. I like Fig a lot. He's just a cool little guy. His Halloween costume is awesome. Uh, next up, we've got Herb. Uh, Herb was another cookie that I used to despise when he was meta. I hated Herb. There's a few cookies you, you hear me hear this about but I just refused to level them up. Like they were meta, everybody was using them and I just refused to use them because in my opinion, like when I was playing the game, I firmly believed that they were very bad even though everybody was using them, that there was a better cookie to use. So I just refused to use Herb, but his character is good. Um, I keep putting them in A tier, so I'll put him in B. Or you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move you to A, and I'm gonna move you down to B. Because uh, yeah, he, his character is overall like nice. I just have this big vendetta against them of like I don't want to level them up. Uh, anyway, next up we've got Hollyberry. Uh, Hollyberry is probably gonna be top of S S tier. Um, Hollyberry is awesome. I think she's my second, fa second or third favorite ancient. Just, I like how energetic her character is and like all the stories, how like her main gimmick is she likes essentially to get drunk because Barry Juice is the PG version of this game with alcohol. Um, but yeah, it's kind of funny. Uh, really cool character. All the ancients are, honestly, uh, but we'll get to the rest later. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Kumio. Not a big kind of Kumio. Uh, just her energy. I, I, I don't like it. Uh, yeah. 
Next up, we've got uh, Latte. Latte is awesome. Uh, Latte is also going in SS tier. Uh, Latte is just very, very cool design. Um, really like the hat. Uh, that, yeah, I don't. I will not elaborate further. Uh, <laughs> next up, we've got uh, Licorice. Licorice is. I like licorice. I, I like it more than almond. Uh, put him in A. Uh, yeah, that, there, that, that's good. Uh, I like how he, like, one of the few summoners in the game. Uh, summoners is, in my opinion, one of the cooler comps you could have in this game. Sadly, they're not viable anymore. But as a character in itself, like, I don't know. I, I, I like licorice. He's kind of funny. Uh, next up, we've got Lilac. Um, eh. Yeah, C tier. Not not the biggest fan of Lilac. I've had this weird trend when I play this game that Lilac always shows up in Gacha whenever I pull an ancient, legendary, super epic, whatever it be. So I kind of consider him like the supplier of those cookies, but still, I just not the biggest fan of this cookie. He, yeah, just 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 not a big fan. Um, next up, we've got Malus F tier. If one of those cookies that when they came out uh, again, I just decided to not like i just didn't like Malasauce. like the voice i didn't like the design i didn't like the skill didn't do anything uh yeah just overall not 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 a fan at all of this cookie uh next up we've got mango mango's decent i think mango goes b tier yeah sure why not um nothing against mango it's just Definitely not nearly as, as as exciting as some of the later cookies you'll see down here. Um, you know, he got a magic candy, uh, made him relevant. I refuse to level him up, but he's all right. You know, I, I don't hate the guy. Uh, next up, we've got a milk cookie. I feel nothing towards milk cookie. He's just there. He exists. Nobody really cares about milk cookie. Uh, that's where that ends. Next up, we've got uh, Minchoko. Minchoko's cool he has a violin um he also has an actual story compared to a lot of the like well no cookie does have and anyway uh i'll put him top of b uh i like his hair a lot um but he's not really used anymore i mean outside of kill that but whatever point is i yeah not my favorite design but i don't hate the guy uh next up moon rabbit moon rabbit's also going after you uh, another cookie that when they came out, I just really didn't like. I felt like they didn't do anything for the meta, and the fact that people said they did, it pissed me off and made me dislike the character a lot. So, you know, kind of not Moon, Ra Moon Rabbit's fault, but I, I just really don't like it. Um, next up, we've got Parfait. Parfait is our first SS plus tier. Uh, I really like Parfait's design. She, uh, her banner was the banner that was up when I started playing, so there's kind of a nostalgia factor there. But big, big fan of her design. Uh, I like that she's one of the supports that's lasted the longest, thanks to her magic candy now. It's still viable in Arena, still viable in multiple game modes. Uh, I, I know I said it was mostly character-based, but you know, of course, I'm gonna have a little bit of bias for the ones that I actually end up using and the ones that I don't. Um, but yeah, Parfait is definitely one of my favorite cookies, and the fact that her banner was the one that was up when I started playing just, you know, adds to the nostalgia factor. Um, next up we've got Pastry. Uh, Pastry's cool. I like Pastry. I think she's also, like, S tier. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of story, but I, I like her design a lot. We don't get a lot of, like, bow users. I think the only ones I can think of is, like, her and Car Caramel Arrow, so technically a crossbow, but, you know, potato, potato. Um, cool design. That's, yeah, there's not much else to say. Again, she doesn't have that much of a story. Uh, next up, we've got Poison Mushroom. Poison Mushroom is the silly little guy, and he's going in SS tier. He's, he's just funny, you know? He, he has a mushroom, he likes shroomies. He, he's, he's a funny little guy, and, and, and we appreciate him for that. So he's going in SS tier. Uh, next up, we've got Pomegranate. Uh, Pomegranate is okay, you know? Uh, I think she's A tier, probably above Herb. You, you see I'm putting all the villains here, that's not, not intentional, but you know. Um, Pomegranate is okay, like, I don't hate her design, I don't love her design. Uh, you know, she's just kind of there again. Uh, but I definitely like her more than these guys, for example, and then Herb, so I'll, I'll put her there for now. Uh, next up we've got Pure Vanilla, our second Ancient. 
PV is cool. Uh, I like PV a lot, but I don't think he's SS tier quite. I'll put him on top of S. Uh, actually, below Black Raisin now that I think about it. Uh, I like PV a lot. I think he's, you know, cool. He has a lot of story behind him. He's like one of the main characters basically off the main story. So we like him a lot for that. But unfortunately, he just, you know, his design is just not as good as these in my opinion. So he, he'll be chilling down here. Uh, should I even rank Sonic and Tails? I don't know if they count. Uh, I'll put them down here because yeah, they're kind of like event cook. I'd, I'd be ranking Sonic and Tails as characters basically instead of you know cookies. So anyway, we'll, we'll just put them there for now. Uh, Purple Yam. Purple Yam's going like D tier. Uh, he's just angry. I think that's like the entire thing I know about Purple Yam. Uh, he got a magic candy that like lasted like a month, being decent, and then faded into obscurity again. He was useless beforehand. Um, just eh. not. I don't really like this guy. Uh, yeah. Next up, we've got Raspberry. Uh, Raspberry is pretty solid. I like her design a lot. I think she's S tier. Um, it's, it's sword, cool. Uh, Hollyberry Kingdom, cool. Uh, cool voice actor. So sure, you know what? We 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 leave her in S tier. It also matches her color, so you know, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, next we've got Red Velvet, bleh, bleh, bleh. Red Velvet, thank you, brain. Um, Red Velvet is, I think, also S tier. Uh, I like his design a lot, like the dark eye, light eye, like the cool little like saw, the hair, just oh, his design is super, super, super cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what else I can say about him. He's just a cool character, a really cool design. Uh, next we've got the uh, rack, okay? Uh, right cookies, pretty decent, I, I would say. Like, uh, uh, she's definitely not going there. Uh, there, that's fine. Um, right cookies, all right, you know? I don't think she's like S tier material, but she's pretty cool. Uh, I like the whole like bounty, thing, bounty hunter thing. Uh, she's still viable somehow. Uh, uh, dual, dualies based weapon, um, don't really know what else to say besides that, but, uh, yeah, cool, cool design. Uh, next up we've got our first legendary in Sea Fairy. Uh, Sea Fairy, I'm, Sea Fairy is probably my, actually no, it's probably second least favorite, uh, legendary, but, uh, she can go above PB. Uh, Sea Fairy, I, I like Sea Fairy's design a lot. I, I, I try not to let her gameplay, uh, you know, move her, because if it was gameplay-wise, I'd put it, like, down here, because I still dislike that, the fact that he, she's a little bit useful if you maximize everything, aka spend, like, hundreds of dollars to maximize everything, and then she's, you know, at best, decent. I don't really see the point in leveling her up, but her design is really cool, um, cool story, you know, related to Moonlight Cookie, so of course, plus points, uh, we'll get to Moonlight later, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that there. Uh, next we got Snow Sugar, uh, Snow Sugar is decent, uh, probably, like, here. I don't hate Snow Sugar, I don't love Snow Sugar, if I can be honest, like, all I know is they talk like this, but, yeah, just not a fan of her. Yeah, no, no positive feeling, no negative feelings. It's just kind of there. Yeah. Uh, next, we've got Sorbet. Sorbet's probably going into S, S plus. He's a he's a silly little guy. That's he's funny because of it. So you know, all the silly little guys. You know, they they go here. They're kind of cool. We 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 like the silly little guys. Uh, next we've got uh, Sparkling. Sparkling's just a character that exists again, like a lot of the ones down here. I really just don't care about their existence. You know, they're there, I guess. Do they do anything? Not really. Have I ever used them? No. Do I know basically anything about their story? No. But uh, he exists and he's there. He a, has a pretty decent design. Actually, I'll bump him down to like here. Uh, you know, he's he's there, you know, 
not really much else to say besides that. Yeah. Uh, next we've got uh, Squid Ink. Squid Ink is probably S tier. I don't think it's SS tier, but probably S tier, like here. Uh, I'll also move uh, Raspberry here. Squid Ink is cool. I like the whole like treasures. Uh, it turns into a big giant squid. A uh, whole gimmick. Uh, the whole constant crying is a little there. Uh, but you know, the character design is really cool. I like that it's basically literally just like chibi squid. That's about it. But uh, yeah, we, we appreciate the design around here. Um, next up, we've got Strawberry Crepe. So I like Strawberry Crepe a lot. Uh, I still don't know if this is a girl or a boy, and I'm not gonna Google it because I'm too lazy. Uh, I'm gonna put them here. Uh, Strawberry Crepe, I just like the whole like tech, uh, androids. I'm a big fan of crepes anyway, and the whole like, you know, arms that are crepes with like the strawberry fingers. Uh, the little helmet. I, I also like that it's, a, again, a silly little guy. And uh, the fact that it was meta for so long and then it just got dethroned because Cook Your Dev Sisters decided, you know what, we're just gonna keep adding insanely broken tanks to the game so all the other tanks become irrelevant. Uh, I heard she's getting a magic candy soon, so, you know, maybe he'll be meta again at some point. Anyway. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Tiger Lily. Again, another cookie I really don't care about. I think it's kind of cool that she's related to, like, she's the princess from the Hollyberry Kingdom and how there's all that lore, but they haven't done anything with it. There's no, like, she returns and it's like, whoa, you're the princess. That's crazy. Uh, we're going to teach you the no no nothing. She just exists and people deal with it. Uh, yeah. Next up, we've got uh, Twizzly Gummy. Uh, Twizzly Gummy is really cool. I like her design a lot. Uh, she can go here. Uh, she, world Destroyer that has a cannon that can destroy planets. Yeah, she's like bottom 10 cookies in the game. Um, you know, cool animation when you get her in Gacha. Um, cool, really cool voice actor, honestly. That, like, the voice of this character is super, super, super cool to listen to. Um, but, yeah, I, I'd, I'd say that's a fair placement for her. Like, not, she's really cool, but I don't think she's as cool or awesome as a little guy's in SS tier. Uh, next up we've got Vampire. Uh, Vampire is all right, you know, nothing too crazy probably there I think he's got a goal a cool design I think they could have done a lot more with his design I get he was you know one of the early ones but he's decent he has a decent skill he has a decent decent everything basically so he exists we deal with it uh, but he's definitely cooler than these guys so we take those uh, next up where why are so many of these just going like down here? I feel so bad for like, well actually, you know, like, we do have a fair amount in S tier, in SS tier, but we're filling out the bottom first apparently because all the early cookies are basically going down here. Uh, Werewolf is, eh, he, he's kind of cool, but he you can tell they try to just be like, I, we want the edgy character and all of his voice lines were like, just stay away from me, I could hurt you. We don't want, like, he's just the guy from Twilight and that cookie. Um, so, you know what, we, we, we eh, C tier, sure. Uh, next up we've got Madeline. Uh, Madeline's kind of cool. Uh, I like his design, I like his costumes a lot more than I like this base form. But, um, I like that he's one of the few remaining members of the speed comp that's still kind of viable. Um, you know, he appears in Cookie Odyssey, so that's automatically bonus points. Um, yeah, overall, just eh, pretty cool design. Not my favorite, but pretty decent. Uh, Pumpkin Pie is going SS tier. Uh, I, I like her character a lot. I, I miss the days when she used to be meta. Uh, she, what, I think the frailest cookie in the game. I don't think I know a cookie that dies faster than Pumpkin Pie. It's insane. It's so annoying to deal with because so you need her for some of the master mode stages if you want to clear them like three stars and easily and stuff she explodes it, she has the, i think the lowest hp stat in the game correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure she does i would not be surprised um next we've got uh cotton cookie uh cotton cookies also like ss tier or is ss tier probably like 
here. Yeah, there. Mmm. The one below, yeah. So I'm gonna move you up, like, there. Uh, cotton cookies just cute, you know, it's, again, tiny design, you see guys, little tiny cotton sheep, it's cool, she used to be meta for a while, um, really cool costume, I, I, I like her vibe a lot, you know, so, yeah, top, 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 near top SS tier, like, really cool character, uh, next up we got Frost Queen, so, Frost Queen's my least favorite legendary, mainly because I have a vendetta against this cookie, I hate Frost Comps, I hate them with a passion and I hate that they're still meta and I hate that I have to fight them on a daily basis because this stupid character has got a magic candy whatever thingy. Uh, crystal gem, that's a thing I'm looking for. Um, and she's definitely not that low, like she's still a cool character but like probably top of B, maybe even A tier, but like there. Like she's... It's, I, I find her character really annoying to deal with in game, so I it really mean like kill the character for me. But uh, her design is like all the same color. I do get it, but it's, it's yeah, just just not it for me personally. But that you know, I, I understand if you like the character. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Coco. Coco is probably also like S tier, probably high S tier, like there uh i just like her design a lot uh i like the little marshmallow hat her costume for christmas was insane was super good but um you know nothing too crazy she she's not super viable anymore uh but still really like her design uh next we got eclair eclair used to be the god of this game until he wasn't but uh he he can go like here yeah uh, he's the museum guy, and I think that's as far as his lore goes, but he is decent, you know, he's alright. <laughs> Apologies, uh, you know, I have a cold, so if you hear me, like, snorting or coughing, you know why. <sighs> anyway, uh, next up we've got, uh, T-Knight. T-Knight is, I, this is another cookie I hold a vendetta against, but I don't hate them as much as these two. Uh, probably can go, like, here. Yeah, sure. Uh, Tinai is just one of those cookies that was meta, and I was like, nah, I don't feel like this is meta. This cookie's ass, and then they weren't ass, and then they stayed in the meta for forever, and then they finally got shot into obscurity, and then they gave him a magic hand, and he came back, and now he's stronger than ever, and I think he's still viable, and it pisses me off. But, you know, he exists. Uh, I don't hate him as much as these two, but I still don't like the character. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Dark Cacao. I feel bad for Dark Cacao, because our third Ancient. These two got buffed, like Pure Vanilla and Hollyberry got buffed to, like, meta status whenever they got their buff. And I think PV faded and Hollyberry still kind of used. But Dark Cacao didn't get any buffs, and Dark Cacao is now by far the worst Ancient in the game. They, I don't think they've announced any buffs. I don't think he's been buffed. I don't know if he will be buffed, but he's still really, really, really bad. So there's like, you feel really bad for the guy, but his design's cool. So I think he'll go like up there. Yeah. Um, all the ancients honestly have really, really cool design. Uh, yeah, uh, hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna cut that out. Um, anyway, next up we've got Afogado. Afogado came out in the same update as Dark Cacao. Uh, eh, pretty cool design, I would say. Honestly, probably like my favorite design out of the villains, uh, or at least the ones that are not counting Poison Mushroom because he's just a little little guy. He's just above everyone, everyone else by far. Um, Afogado's all right, you know. I don't. I wouldn't say he's like top top favorite cookies but i like his design so he's staying right there for now uh next up we got Car caramel arrow i like Car caramel arrow <laughs> blah, blah, blah. jesus brain i like caramel arrow a lot uh you know her skills really cool uh character is really cool again archers are just awesome uh so she's probably going 
very high S tier, probably like, yeah, there, that works. Uh, just cool design, cool character, uh, cool skill, cool voice actor too. So I'll, I'll, I'll leave her there for now. Uh, Cherry Blossom, also F tier. One of those, I just, I really don't like her voice lines. I really don't like the character itself. I don't like nothing about this character. I really dislike Cherry Blossom. Uh, next up we've got Wildberry. Wildberry is the goat of story mode, if you know, you know. So he is going right there. He's awesome, really like this design, really like his skill. I wish the uh, magic candy he got was actually better, but unfortunately it's not. So we're stuck with a, with a Wildberry that doesn't really do much, but uh, he's still really, really cool, really like his design. And the fact that he's in Cookie Odyssey, Jesus Christ. Um, it still makes him a really cool character. Uh, next up, we've got the console or uh, creme. No, 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 it's not creme brulee. Uh, clotted cream. Thank you. Too many cream cookies. Um, also SS tier. I really like his design. Um, the fact that he was the first super epic ever released into the game, uh, which his banner was actually balanced. Same with oysters, which we'll get to in a minute. But. Like going from a very balanced one to, you know, Sherbet, or no, Sherbet was still balanced. I think it was the fourth one. I think, it was, was it Stardust that started that trend? Anyway, uh, not to bore you with that. Um, Console has a really cool design, it has a fantastic voice actor. I really like his voice. Um, so, uh, yeah, just SS tier character, really like the console as a character. Uh, hope we see more of him in like Beastie stuff, etc., etc. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, next I've got um, Crunchy Chip, is it? Yeah, Crunchy Chip also, I don't know if it's SS tier, but probably like very high S tier, like there is fine. Uh, he's got the wolves, which is cool, uh, also one of the few summoners. Um, he's still like viable in some, in some levels if you want to, but like story mode is a joke if you, you're not in the last level. Uh, what else? Um, Crunchy Chip, it just... He's part of Cookie Odyssey, so of course, bonus points for that. I still don't like him as much as Wildberry, but he's definitely really cool. So I think S tier is fine for now. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Next, we've got Oyster. Oyster, for me, as a surprise to a lot of people, is going to be S, S tier, probably like up here. I really like Oyster. Uh, you know, the fancy, elegant house master. Uh, one of few summoners as well. She's, I don't think she's been viable even at release. She's just not good at all. But it, I find that kind of funny. I just really like her character design. Uh, her costume's not good at all, but her base for base costume, which is this one here, is really cool. So, you know, we, we, we take those. Cool design. Anyway, uh, next up we've got uh, Financier. Financier also probably like, I don't know if it's S, uh, yeah, sure, we'll put her in SS tier. Uh, Financier is really cool. She's been meta for, she was meta for like a year, and then she finally got power crept, and then they gave her a magic candy like three months or four months afterwards. I, I don't know how long of the, of the wait it was, but. Uh, they gave her a magic candy now, because she's still insanely broken. Um, really cool character. Uh, like her voice actor as well, uh, or voice actress, I guess I should say. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but cool character. Uh, Queen Unicorn, also not, yeah. I don't hate her as much as, or him, I still don't know. Uh, as much as these guys, but, uh, probably going, like, here. Just came with a Disney update, which is still, today, one of the weirdest updates I've ever done of this game. But, you know, uh, okay, anyway, um, next we've got, uh, Captain Caviar. Captain Caviar is awesome, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, probably, like, up here. Uh, he, he's just, like, this tough captain that knows how to navigate the seas, like, he's still insanely meta, he's one of the strongest, like, power-wise, uh, when you use him to, like, burst bosses, insane debuff. Uh, anyway, I'm again. I'm not talking about gameplay here. I'm talking about character design uh, or character in general. Uh, he's part of the elders of the Republic, I think, if I remember correctly. 
uh, just cool overall. When he came out, he's an epic cookie, but everybody thought he was gonna be a super epic. So when he was an epic, everybody was kind of relieved because no one likes super epics nowadays. I, I'm telling you, no one, no one likes super epics. Dev sisters, stop giving you super epics. If you are, bring back the banner of, of or like the type of banner that was the console and oyster cookie. There were so much better banners than the one we have now. Anyway. Uh, next we got Black Pearl. Okay, so Black Pearl, I I'd love to like be able to add a image to this because there's two characters, two very different characters that I want to rate with this: White Pearl Cookie and Black Pearl Cookie. But White Pearl is a costume of Black Pearl Cookie. Um, Black Pearl is probably top of S S tier. Can I have like can, uh, actually? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna rate you as both, uh, kind of both. Um, White Pearl Cookie is probably my second, if not my favorite cookie in this game. Like, it's, oh my God. <laughs> everything, the voice actor, the costume, the everything. It's, she has her own storyline. It's probably the best story in the entire game. Um, easily, easily, easily top three best characters in the game. Uh, yeah. Again, white pearl cookie. If we just talk about black pearl cookie, she'd probably be like here or here. But specifically white pearl cookie, of, of course, top of SS plus tier for now. There's one cookie I think that will surpass that, but we'll get there. Um, next we've got uh, Candy Diver. Candy Diver is... I don't really know how to feel about this character. It, he showed up, he he was never meta, he just kind of existed, but I don't hate his character, like another one you'll see that has the same story. Um, so I'll probably leave him there. No, actually one more. Up. Come on, there we go. Nothing against Candy Diver, it's just, you know, again, I don't think there's much behind him. Like he's, I, I think he's a ghost or something. I don't quite remember. Um, that helped Captain Caviar get to safety. But again, the character itself doesn't do anything. So next up, we've got uh, Brute. Brute is the, the goat. Uh, he is going in SS tier. I love this guy. He's so cool. He's got a big hammer. He's the only non-cookie in the entire cookie list, which is kind of funny. I think so. There might be more, but I'm pretty sure. Um, he's just funny. I th I, the worst part is, I'm pretty sure he would have been like insanely meta, but he was released when the uh, when they decided, you know what, we're gonna add BTS characters to this game because of course this game needs BTS characters. This guy has one of the like, in my opinion, pre-BTS meta. This guy would have broken the game because his skill is like perma stun basically and BTS gave you stun immunity and then Snapdragon later on which is now the like the king of supports in, in the meta uh, gives you stun resistance so he's just simply not that good anymore but if if he was released before those things Brute would be would have been like top one top two cookies in the game for sure I, I'm sure of it but yeah really 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 like Brute's design he's, he's He's a comedic relief of the villains, in my opinion. Same with like Poison Mushroom. So these two are up here, really cool design. So yeah, he's, he, he's going there. I think his name's Shorts Worlder. I might be pronouncing it wrong, but yeah. Uh, next we got Macaron. Macaron used to be like down here, but uh, kind of grew on me after I started, after she became, you know, usable in Guild Boss. So I think she can go Probably here, honestly. No, no, this is. Uh, yeah, there. Uh, cool design. I like. I like the the little like drum. Uh, the little ant macaron animals. It's kind of cool. Uh, hold on. I'd love to be able to pause recording, but whatever. Anyway, uh, next up we've got a uh, Carol Cookie. Uh, so Carol Cookie is process actor. Um, Carol is all right, not amazing, not terrible. Uh, probably like here. Um, 
yeah, uh, cool design, I guess. Uh, Christmas cookie, not really much else besides that, but she has a harp, which is cool. Still don't, di don't dislike her as much as the characters here, so she's going up there. Uh, Sherbet. Uh, Sherbet is probably here. Also, I'm gonna move this guy up here. Uh, yeah, Sherbet, Sherbet's cool. Uh, I think he's one of my lower favorites of the Super Epics. Um, not... He, I like him, but he's, he's just not as good as the other ones, in my opinion. Uh, again, he's, I got that vendetta against the Frost Pump, but I, I don't think Sherbet was as bad as Frost Queen is in the, in the sense of how much they're disrupting and making the meta a worse place. But whatever, who am I to say anything? Uh, anyway, next up we've got Pinecone. Pinecone is... Eh, there, I guess. No, I, I like him more than these guys. Uh, there. Pinecone's okay. But actually, you know, we'll, we'll move him there. He's decent. I just don't really find, like, you know, he's just kind of there. Again, a character I don't really care about. There's over a hundred cookies in this game, I'm pretty sure. So, you can get if I don't get super attached to do some of these. Uh, next up, we've got Prophet. Prophet was another one of those that when they came out, they were meta for some reason, and I refused to level them up because I found it stupid. Uh, but I, I like him because he's one of the few, he's the only cookie in the game that gives you like little gifts for just being in your kingdom. So he can go there. Uh, I like the little mustache, what they did with the fortune cookie. Um, yeah, he's alright. And then we've come to the single best update in the game. Hands down, not even close. Moonlight Cookie is going straight at the top of SS Plus tier. It is by far the best character in this game. Hands down. Immaculate design. Or I don't know if that, I don't know what that word means, so I'm not going to use it. Amazing design, amazing voice actor, amazing cutscenes, amazing costumes. Oh my god. <laughs> Part of best character in the game. Hands down. Uh, and then another one. This came out in the same update as Moonlight Cookie. This is why I say it's the best update in the game. Milky Way. Third or you... I'm not, if this is White Pearl Cookie, it goes here. If it's Black Pearl, if we're assuming Black Pearl, put it here. But uh, since we're counting this as White Pearl Cookie, uh, I'm putting you there. Um, yeah, Milky Way is very, very, very cool, or very cute, I guess I should say. The, again, a lot of, another silly little character, like, very small, but her expressions in the dialogue is so funny to listen to. Great voice actor, uh, uh, great costume too, that I definitely didn't spend like $60 getting. Uh, I regret my decisions, but... Hey, cool character, really cool character. Definitely top three in the game. These are the top three best characters in the game, by the way. I don't think I'm putting anything above this. But, uh, yeah. Next up, we've got Blueberry Pie. So, Blueberry Pie is... I don't mind her design, but I hate... I hate her voice line for her skill. I cannot stand it. So, she is going down here. I know crazy i i like her design but the voice line for her skill is by far the most obnoxious sound in the entire game so i'm putting it here because i cannot stand it give her a costume that changes her voice line game please that way she can go like up here but otherwise she's staying down here because that voice line kills any chance that i use this character or that i want to ever see more of this character ever again uh, next we've got uh, Space Donut. Oh no, the, right, Brute isn't the only non-cookie. I think this is the only other one. Uh, Space Donut can go like up here. Like, he's a silly little guy, right? But, uh, I don't know. These are these are cool silly little guys. This is just a silly little guy. So he's going in S tier, but nothing else. Nothing above that. And then we've got ourselves Stardust. Uh, Stardust killed the game a little bit when he came out because his banner was ass, but... 
besides that really cool design so he's going like up here um but yeah his banner when he came out i think he had like 14 days or like 18 days or something like that to get him and you had to pull basically 250 times and it's regular missions so you had two weeks to get this character is death sister some drugs anyway uh next we've got uh capsaicin this is i think yeah. honestly that's fine uh that where he is is fine i don't really like capsaicin he like his face freaks me out because I don't even know, like, the, none of these characters have a nose, but I feel like out of all the characters that should have a nose, Mekepseyasin is probably number one. The fact that he doesn't have a nose freaks me out, so he's staying right there. Not a fan of this character. Uh, next we got Prune Juice. Prune Juice is really cool, probably my favorite of, actually, maybe second favorite of my tree, of the trio of that update, but uh, he can go up here. I, I like his whole, like, Master of potions and poison stuff like that. Uh, one of the best damage dealers in the game. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave him there for now. Next we got uh, Queen Amon. Queen Amon is probably is probably my favorite of the trio. She can go in SS tier. Uh, I like her voice actor a lot. Uh, her voice actress. I need, I need to start saying that. I'm just used to saying actor for both. Um, cool skill. Um, really cool costume. That's about it. I don't really know what else to say, but cool character. Uh, next, we've got uh, Royal Margarine, or Margarine. I still don't know. In Spanish, we say Margarina, so that's why Mar Margarine, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Margarine. Uh, he can go there, I guess. Uh, he's alright. You know, he just, he's got a cool dragon, but I still have no... Like, he's decent as a character. His dragon's cool, but he's... Eh. Next we've got Pitaya Dragon. Pitaya Dragon is really cool. I really like Pitaya Dragon. Definitely one of my favorite characters. So he's going high and here. Probably like here. Really, really cool character. I really, really like Pitaya Dragon. I hope we see more of him in the story. But, um, like, cool, uh, cool skill. One of the coolest. The pre-change, his uh, skill voice line was the best in the game by far. And then they updated it to sound a lot lamer than it is, but honestly still like one of the coolest characters in the game in my opinion. So he's going like almost top of SS tier. Next we've got Tardatan. Uh, Tardatan is probably high A tier. I put her like here. Uh, she's cool because she's one of the best, again, also one of the best like raw damage dealers. Uh, Dragon Hunter is kind of cool, uh, outfit kind of cool, but, and her voice actress is really cool too. Actress, god damn it, I need to start saying that one, right? But, uh, I, sh I think she can go to A, I think that's fine. Uh, next we got the, the stealing little goober that is Snapdragon that is terrorizing the arena meta. This little baby is terrorizing the arena meta, can you believe that? Uh, he can go, oh, or I still don't know. Uh, in here, I think he's fine i like he, I, I, he's really cute i really like his design but uh i don't think he's top 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 but he's really cool um next we've got uh, rockstar rockstar's kind of like ginger brave with if he used that like fancy shampoo that mega Ampharos is in for l'oreal i think this is ginger brave if you are a l'oreal sponsorship so we're gonna put him there I like his, I like his vibe. I really like his voice actor. Uh, yeah, just cool character, honestly. Then we got Shining Glitter. Shining Glitter is SS plus tier. I really like Shining Glitter. Really like her costumes. Really like her voice lines. Really like the story. Cool, really cool character, honestly. Uh, yeah, just really, really cool character. Really, really like Shining Glitter. Uh, next we've got um, Black Lemonade. Black Lemonade can go. S tier probably up here uh, cool character design uh, I like the song that they play off her in the game or the song that she makes in the game on the rockstar story but whatever the hell it's called but uh, yeah good song good character good voice actress finally I said it correctly <laughs> uh, yeah anyway uh, next we've got a peppermint cookie uh, 
character I also don't really she's probably better than most of the ones I don't really feel anything about because she was at least in like the mini Tower of Sweet Chaos that was in the, in the Black Pearl or White Pearl story uh, so she can go in A tier but a, a character I don't really care much about next we've got Crimson Coral the tank that's been terrorizing the meta since last year uh, this character has been meta ever since she came out and is probably going to stay there for a while, but I really like her design. Uh, she probably can go there. Uh, maybe you want above Fig. Really, really cool design. I really like the seahorse. Like, her skill is that if she's by herself in the front line, she gets like twice as strong or something like It's insane. It's an insanely broken character, but really, really cool. Uh, next we've got a uh, frill jellyfish. Uh, frill jellyfish is probably S like middle S tier, probably like here. Re probably one of my favorite voice actresses in the game, or just voices in the game. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna start saying voices. Uh, anyway, cool design, uh, really cool voice. Uh, skill is cheesy, but and annoying to deal with in arena, but hope like the character is cool and the voice is cool so we're gonna leave her there uh next we got anubis uh, oh sorry burnt cheese uh burnt cheese is okay like he's there his lore is that he's a gatekeeper so you know some people are into that uh, i'm gonna leave him there probably like here actually uh he's cool that about wraps up anyway uh, golden cheese. Uh, golden cheese is our fourth ancient. I really like golden cheese. She's probably uh, like I always doodle in my papers for classwork, and golden cheese is always the one I doodle because I like her symmetrical design. It's really easy to draw. Uh, I think I'll put her here. Uh, really, really, really cool design. Really like that the soul gems like here. Uh, Cool storyline in, in the world. Uh, world 18 has like by far the best song in the game, and it's probably the one I'm using for this video. If not, I'll put an editor's note on it, but it's probably what I'm gonna use. Uh, anyway, next up we've got uh, Fettuccine. I love Fettuccine. It's such a cute little design. It's like it's a, it's a little little mummy, like very 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 tiny little mummy. And the fact that she's still one of the best tanks in the game is so funny to me, but also really cool. Uh, for, probably fourth best character in the game. Really, really like her design. Uh, next, we've got Mozzarella. Mozzarella is also really cool. Uh, <clears throat> no, what? Uh, what? Oh, my mouse is just moving by itself. What? Whoa, that's cra Anyway. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, Mozzarella just really cool design uh voice actress too uh yeah i'm not gonna elaborate further uh next we've got olive olive is uh, there don't like olive he, he came out uh she was not good at all i didn't want him to be good he should have been a rare cookie that wasn't that rare cookie but uh cope we're just gonna leave him there next we've got uh icicle yeti uh i don't know why i said that late but whatever uh, Icicle Yeti is probably top of B tier. I'm not a big fan of Icicle Yeti. Like her, his cookie form is all right, but his Yeti form is god awful. So uh, he's going in B tier. Creme Brulee we've got is up next, and Creme Brulee is awesome. We love Creme Brulee out here. He's probably SS uh, not SS plus, uh, SS tier. Creme Brulee is the best DPS in the game, if not the best cookie in the game, meta-wise, by far. Uh, his damage output is insane. He shreds through bosses, and like the guild boss battle meta used to be like, you know, top 400 million damage, and when this guy came out, that thing like tripled. He's absolutely broken his skill is insane but his design is also really cool he's like a pianist uh, the gacha theme that was playing when he came out is really cool that i might also put that theme somewhere in this video but uh yeah cool character honestly i'm not gonna lie to you i like his design a lot uh next we got uh lincer i believe is her name uh lincer cookie is probably also ss tier probably like here 
uh, really fan of her design. She's an author. I want to be an author, you know, uh, like the color scheme. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Next, we've got uh, Discount Ginger Brave is probably going down here. Can't be to me. Uh, there. I don't like this character simply because this is literally just Ginger Brave with bigger eyebrows and a Chinese hat. Uh, it's racist, I shouldn't say that. Uh, this is Ginger Brave with a farming hat and like a staff and a little costume and that is it and then somehow he's like a different cookie nah bro this should have been a gingerbread costume uh so i don't like him for that i feel like he's just a lazy effort of dev sisters but the update that came after this is again one of the best in the game so i cannot fault them for it uh next we've got white lily probably our last ss plus tier White Lily is my favorite ancient, hands down. Like White Lily's amazing design. Uh, just really, really big fan of White Lily's design. Um, cool voice actress. Can't really say much else, but uh, yeah, really, really cool character. Definitely my favorite story wise too. Uh, anyway, next we've got a Silver Bell. Not really. I don't really care much about Silver Bell. He's there. He exists, I guess. Uh, Mercurial Knight is a little cooler, but uh, he also doesn't do much. But we'll leave him S tier. Uh, next up, we got Matcha Cookie, right? Uh, Matcha Cookie is like down here. There's no context behind this cookie when they released it. She's just kind of in the game. And then Elder Fairy. Uh, Elder Fairy came out a little while ago. Uh, when this guy came out, I started playing a lot less. Not because I didn't get him or because the meta got boring, just there's nothing to do. I play Cookie Run because I really like the story mode, like Cookie Odyssey, like the world exploration. When this guy came out, there wasn't really much of it. I don't know. It's just, I miss Cookie Odyssey, man. Give us more Cookie Odyssey episodes. Um, he can go like here, I guess. No, he, he can be S plus S S tier, honestly, like there. Uh, honestly, cool character. He's he's got a really cool design, really cool voice actor. Um, but uh, yeah, and I think that's about it. Uh, I'm not gonna rank BTS because this is not a cringe tier list. Uh, that's a joke, by the way. Anyway, this about wraps up the tier list. Uh, yeah, the, I don't think I need to move anything. I think mostly everything's fine as is. Um, so we've got Moonlight, uh, White Pearl, not Black Pearl, White Pearl as uh, number two, Milky Way is number three, Fettuccine is number four, White Lily is number five, uh, Shining Glitter is number six, and Parfait is number seven, and then you can see the rest for yourself. Um, these, uh, this has been a tier list about how I feel about each character, how cool they are, how cute they are, how good of a character they are. Not competitively, just as a character, how I, I think they are. AKA, this is my favorite character. Uh, this is my least favorite character. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Um, this was again supposed to be week eight, I think, for ASL. But opponent forfeited, so every time I, I have an opponent forfeit on a match, I'll just do another tier list. And whenever the league ends, I'm probably just gonna do tier lists or random challenge videos or something like that afterwards. <laughs> that's supposed to be a teaser for something anyway uh thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and uh have a good one <laughs>